Hello guys, hopefully you guys don't fall, you're on top of my fish tank. We'll see how this goes. Today is April 18th, it is a Saturday, and I spent my day at the farmer's market. I caught like one clip, and it was like a really weird clip of my brother, like I was doing the tractor, and then my brother came by and he was like, oh, and I was like, oh, you just ruined my clip, but okay, because I was going to try to show you guys the cows and stuff. But besides that, um, I've kind of, even though it's on my spring break, I'm kind of getting back into teacher brain. Right now I am assessing our next lesson. I've been doing a lot of my lessons in, um, I've been doing a lot of my lessons in Art Connections. I really like this book because um, not only does it give really good lessons, um, academic wise but it also gives some great ideas on projects and that's why I like it however this next week I am going to use this book called art and focus and to really kind of develop an understanding a little bit more about art itself this is kind of more like art appreciation and art history kind of thing which I really need to kind of get like a hanker on with these kids and um, I also am kind of going over what I need for next year. I just recently, what I just recently did was I went to um, the website that they gave us that we can order school supplies from. And with that being said, I started going and trying ordering all the supplies and the furniture that I think my class is going to need. Um, I know for sure that I have a great budget and that I really don't have to worry, but I do stress out because art and school furniture is very, very expensive. So I'm kind of a little bit stressed out about that, but I know that it'll come in due time and I did order before school was gone. So what I'm also doing right now is school gave us access to Teachers Pay Teachers, so I'm kind of going over everything on Teachers Pay Teachers, what I need to look at and get, so that way I can really kind of assess. And over the summer, I plan on really getting a day-to-day -day lesson plan, teacher planning it out, because I want to be sure that I have everything to the last detail, incorporate lessons with the supplies that I'm using and that I'm getting for my classes and creating projects that are a little bit more fun for them as well as very educational and really getting to both sides of that aspect at the same time which has been really difficult trying to plan out last minute virtually and it's working and they're getting to incorporate art projects and stuff with it however it is slightly frustrating um, because kids are a little bit more bold without seeing you face to face and I'm not doing Zoom meetings. I know a lot of the students are doing Zoom meetings with the other classes. I don't know how that's working. I don't kind of, I don't want to interfere with it. So I'm just kind of doing mine as like a, when you have downtime, we'll work on it. And I'm trying not to give them a lot of assignments because I know that their main courses are giving them a lot of assignments as well so I'm trying to make it short and simple just answer a couple questions maybe do a discussion one of those options and then an art project with it to kind of really go with it or something art related as a project um it's slowly getting there it's been very very hard but we're getting somewhere and that's what matters is that we're just kind of going with it Ooh, and there's so many things that I have to take into assessment and just really listen plan and I think that's a little bit of the harder thing to do is sit down and really take the time to lesson plan and just really figure out what I want to do and um, the thing I love about TBT is that you really, if you're kind of stuck on something, you don't know how to do it or create a format, it's a really great place to find something where other teachers are creating content and you can support them 
why they're buying them or sometimes they're nice and they create free editable things so I personally am very grateful that my um, my school really just really understands and they give us opportunity and quite a bit of money to just go and just figure out what we want, how we want it. It's great, but I'm going to kind of let you guys go. I'll probably film a little bit, but not really too much because I don't really like to... I don't really like to film while I'm doing things. I'm also going to paint, so I really want to finish this willow tree piece. I have some leaf I have to do up in here. I want to do some leaf textures just to make it look a little bit more virtual and 3D as well as um, can I get a couple more like probably really detailed lavender sprigs up in the front or something just to kind of give this a little more depth. Um, I didn't sand this before I used it so it's really rough but it's too late now so um, and I also kind of want to paint the edges. I was trying to keep it as straight as I could to keep that wood. It ain't happening, so. And then I also need to find backings for this, um, frame backings so I can attach it to the wood to make my life a little easier for other people to hang. So I'm having to try to use command hooks. It's a heavier wood, so I don't know how that works. So that's what I'm going to do. And I'm also thinking about doing a couple more painting projects. I need to finish this piano painting right here. So I've got quite a bit to do in a short amount of time and I'm still amped up on some coffee so I'm still going but I'll talk to you guys later. Bye! I finally got this thing situated but um basically what happened is I tried to go and be teacher pay teachers. My computer went to like complete craziness so I'm now able to come here and edit everything that I need, which is nice. I kind of am getting, I got this off of here, which is like this like pretty farmhouse floral thing. I think I got it situated, but my laptop has been very weird lately and I don't like it. It's been a huge struggle, constant like push and shove trying to get things done. And I don't think it helps that, you know, everyone is on the internet right now trying to do things, whether it's, you know, not being bored or working and all of that fun stuff. So, I am just, ugh, I'm getting, I was getting frustrated, but I restarted my computer and it's doing some things working now and I also had to email a student because um, Google Classroom is like really weird and on Google Classroom uh, if you apparently if you resubmit something it won't show up the new submission it doesn't even give you another thing it's gonna stay the same one and I also have a problem with it because I have students who don't quite know how to navigate it and I've never used Google Classroom as a student. I've only used it as a teacher, like right now. Um, so it's kind of like a learning process and a learning curve. I don't quite understand. Um, I know some students, they got it real quick and they're submitting it, but then I have other students who email me and ask me like, I don't understand how to submit this. This is difficult or complicated. So it is really, I can see it being as like insanely frustrating for everyone and it's frustrating for me because um, I'm still learning it too and it's it kind of gets to you a little bit and you're like I don't understand what's going on and so it's just kind of figuring everything out. And also um, just kind of getting into the mode because right now I'm kind of split in between two moods. Um, oh, yeah. Stick that over there. 
my two modes basically right now are I'm trying to um, be in like teacher mode where I'm trying to kind of like still I'm still going over curriculum and like figuring things out um, as a first year teacher as well as sitting down and um, trying to plan for next year because during summer I just want to have summer and relax and not quite have to worry too much um, especially because I'm considering taking classes and um yeah so I'm considering taking classes during the summer that I need like um studio classes and things like that and so it's going to be a lot harder for me to kind of like manage curriculum and try to do it all once in the summer, I kind of want to get it done and over with as fast as I can. Because it's going to be hard. <laughs> but what I will be doing is I'm going to kind of try to tackle all of these because I have a couple of different ones that I'm going to do. I love these things. I'm going to leave them blank so that way when I am um, labeling boxes and things, I can, um, I can just kind of write it as it fits and not have to worry about, um, ideally anything else because I know for sure that What's gonna happen is, let me take these off because I don't like the glare. Um, I don't like to kind of like pre-plan things out and it not work out. I don't have the measurements to my boxes. Sorry for the noise. My boyfriend's playing in the background. But um, I don't quite like to not be prepared. And for me, it's easier to just kind of see how it fits. Oh, this fits here, here, here. I can use these as worksheet labels. And if I need to print out more later, I have them to print out. That's how I like them. That's how I prefer it. So, this is kind of the situation I am in. And you know what? It's okay. Gotta take it one step at a time <laughs> and um, really just kind of like hyper focus and really just try to get things done as quick as possible. Because I love having a backup plan. I don't, I don't really like to kind of do with stuff like that and just kind of feel a little bit lost and I like how everything is kind of a little bit more organized. I do have things labeled in the classroom and I do have labels as well so um, I showed them in a previous vlog where there are um, pictures on it as well as the actual name so it kind of familiarizes students with not only art terminology and their materials, but also it, it really helps when it comes to my non-English speakers. I don't quite have anybody that doesn't speak English in my class, but I always like to be prepared. And I definitely don't want them to feel as overwhelmed because they're already probably frustrated. And so if an incident arises, I, I do like to be prepared. So, that is what I'm doing right now, and I think it's going to take me all night. I, uh, it's going to take me all night to just even kind of like go through everything. I am, 
I do have to go through all the things that I bookmarked in TBD to see which ones are my main priorities. I definitely am liking, let me see if I can find it. I definitely um, absolutely love Teachers Pay Teachers for the fact that they have things like an art substitute binder. Personally for me, it's very hard to um, just even sit down and come up with just a normal lesson plan due to what I'm doing and I have a lot of books and things that my class doesn't quite use. So it's even a lot more frustrating for that because I don't use all these books that I have to somehow integrate between them because they all have great things to talk about, like my painting books. Um, I do have a lot of painting books because I have two painting classes right now. I want to get that changed besides the point, and I only have a couple different other books, which are my teacher edition books. And then for my drawing class, we have the class of drawing on the right side of the brain, which I love that book and it's really great fundamentals, but I don't use that in my class day to day. I kind of do something totally different. I go a little bit rogue, um, but I do like having that option if I need it. So it, it does help a lot with stuff like this. And I'm very, very kind of scatterbrained on what I'm doing, how I'm doing it. My dogs are going crazy. <laughs> and um, all that fun stuff. And I know I'm just probably ranting, that's all I kind of do on these videos and I apologize once summer comes around or if I'm able to come back to my classroom, I'm gonna kind of film more about what we're doing, how we're doing it. I wanna do a lot more tutorials. I think I would love to kind of work on this willow painting and do a tutorial on the willow painting because I think it's an absolutely stunning and it's really simple once you break everything down. So. Um. Sorry, I'm trying to find... I'm trying to find this thing and it's really hard sometimes to they're playing sorry um but it's really really hard to work on this there we go I don't know what they're doing um, but it's really hard to work on work on things at the same time and I've had to do that a lot where I've just been a little bit struggling with with a lot of stuff and I'm trying to like I have to juggle it all at once when I am a first-time teacher like first time school teacher and going into art education my version of doing art education before was just coming up with fun art stuff and having to just do that and teaching at a performing arts um like after school kind of program this is like an actual school where you have to create everything and it has to go with the guidelines of the state and so it's been a lot harder. So I'm just gonna let you guys kind of like go. I ranted for 12 minutes. I don't need to be ranted. I'm gonna kind of get to work and I will kind of update you as I go. Maybe I'll just do kind of quick snippets. Maybe I might do something different. But yeah, talk to you soon. <laughs> Hello guys. So I have a lot going on today. I kind of went out and did things, started kind of getting things done. I've kind of been making my just at home to-do list and I've kind of been putting together what I need to get for my classroom that I personally want to get and um, 
technically you could probably get it through the school however um with the school i really 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 need tons of um supplies and stuff that we don't have so i'd rather spend the money doing that instead of things <coughs> excuse me that we don't necessarily need so i'm gonna kind of so i need a couple things that i need to do so i'm kind of making sheets i'm gonna work on my powerpoint today just so that way i can just put it up either tonight or tomorrow if i don't finish it today oh i'm tired and then what i'm going to do is also come up with an art project on the side for them to do or something to kind of make things a little easier what are you doing how'd you sneak your little snoop in oh, look at that puppy snoop athena what are you doing huh oh no the snuggles she likes her snuggles oh that looks club <laughs> likes her hourly scrubs um so work like that. so that's what i'm going to be doing <coughs> um i'm kind of like slowly making my list figuring out what i need to do for school um and what i need to do here just to kind of get into the mess of things i'm not going to be able to go up to campus until summer when that's when they're deciding to um they're not gonna start classes till next um hello i'm filming hmm? and athena's bugging me yeah. Yeah. She, she wants a scrub that's what she wants yeah, she does. <laughs> Anyway, so, <laughs> um, oh dear. So, I don't have till next year to kind of do everything, so I'm just trying to finish up the lessons that I need for that, and that's it. I have things already printed out, and I'm going to print out a couple more things, just kind of get everything going, but yeah, I'll talk to you guys later, and I'll show you guys what I'm doing. Okay, so, so far, the lesson that I'm going to be working on is we're going over understanding art. So, we're kind of focusing on art criticism. Now, my students have a really, oops, sorry, my students have a really hard time understanding art criticism and critiques. So, this is how um, I am doing it. I am doing a PowerPoint. I apologize that my screen kind of looks bad. You can see me. Hello. <laughs> um, where's my mouse? There it is. So I kind of like always start out with some kind of like artsy thing. Last week we went over lines, so I thought it'd be good to incorporate some of our previous lessons before. I have the objectives that we're doing, and then I also have the lesson vocabulary and what we're going to discover. So ideally what we're going over the chapter, and we're kind of starting. So I kind of gave like an introduction like a question like how they think it's completed and we're kind of now starting to get into the chunky work of what we are talking about which is right in here now i personally really love this book it really gives you a great great um download like the 401 on art history and how you kind of like go over art history what it is and then how you can apply it to daily life so if you guys want to know what it is it's art in focus by Glencoe. This is my teacher's edition. Um, I absolutely love this book so far and I think it's a really great thing for all ages. Now I'm using this for all the classes that I teach right now. It's um, 6th grade through 12th grade is what I'm going to use for this art history lesson and my art connections book that I have is technically 4th grade but I um, the kids still really learn pretty much the same things. My kids are really, really behind, so I kind of really need to kind of get a very big um, upgrade on it. And it also includes um, scan codes 
It has some good teacher's notes and it gives really good on the sides and I do incorporate a lot of the sides too because it really kind of gives me great ideas to get the students enhanced and it's just overall a really great book and I love everything that it talks about. And it kind of really just goes into just the academic aspects to it and I love it because it gets my kids thinking and it gets them moving and kind of understanding the feeling of art. She decided to come in here for snuggles. Opened my door. Did you go open it? Sit. Sit. Thank you. This is exactly what I do with a day-to-day -day basis, little Miss Nosy. Right now she's really fascinated with my acrylic paint and has been smelling it. And it's not dangerous because it's just basic acrylic paint down there, so, and some gesso, but she's not eating it or anything. She doesn't really eat it, but she likes to smell it for some reason. She leaves, like, this stuff alone, but she just, she just likes these little tiny tubes for some reason. Huh. Hey, <laughs> look at that smile. Alright, go on.